Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how I created this um, video animation directly in Marmoset Toolbag by using a plugin and uh, Photoshop and Sony Vegas in my case but you can use any video editing software for to, to achieve the same effect. So what I needed for this was of course to find some video that I will use on my TV and let me show you my folders here so I just found a video on YouTube like this one so I like this video and I wanted to use it on my TV then I collected some uh, noise videos that I want to overlay on that to make it more old looking like this one like this one and I was playing around also with other noises and I take all that and I put it in my video editing software in my case Sony Vegas here it is so let me mute those this is the original video I had I just chopped up some shots that I wanted to have in in my sequence and I overlaid the same with some um, uh, by with darkening the colors to make it a bit darker so like that and then I overlaid the noise another noise as well and on top of that I overlaid an image like this let me show you that one and explain why I overlaid that because the plugin uh, takes the video that you that you select and it shrinks it so it fits the um, the object that you're applying it on and because these sides will be shrunken down I just made this a bit wider and I had a bit of trial and error like two or three times I exported the video I saw how it will look um, in Marmoset and I was fixing it uh, a, big, a bit back and forth until I found this to be the best um, dimensions for me because you see these jagged edges for example around they are shown so this is Marmoset just uh, I'm testing the the animation here the texture is showing up like that and I wanted it to kind of blend with the outside black plastic nicely so what I did in Photoshop I created that mask like that and I added these two effects just some lines with some bevels and strokes on top and this effect that I found uh, just by googling old TV effect uh, texture and I overlaid that with uh, like around 50 opacity for both of them and I exported that out of Photoshop I also used my UVs um, overlaid on the video dimension here so just an export of of uh, the video like a shot of the video just to get the dimensions to have an idea where the video will be shrunken down where it will be centered so I knew it will be somewhere around here you don't need to do that I just did it to just help me get an idea where I need to focus uh, my my video and my mask for that this mask and then the plugin exports a PNG with a sequence of images from that video like this I'll show that in a second so we get the mask and we put it in the video together with the other noises and here on top and we export that video so when we export that video I got something like this with all the effects that I added 
and that I was testing in Marmoset to see how it will look with my screen object here. Will the dimensions fit nicely here all around? And that was the trial and error. You can try it two or three times until you get the best results that you need. If you have a wide video like I did, if it's a kind of squarish, it, it will it should fit more or less perfectly, and you will have less trial and error. So here, what we do, I'll just close that video. Um, once you install install the plugin, uh, you can find the instructions right here. So this is the plugin by Eddie Atterberg. Uh, video importer and here on this link Eddie has an explanation how to install it where you select the material you select the video uh, choose which texture slot will be filled with the sequence that is created from that video and you just click import and that's it and you have some more instructions uh, how to install the plugin and if you face some errors and stuff Eddie has some some tips and explanations there so in Marmoset I have the the plugin installed and I go to plugins video importer select the material where I want the texture sequence to be applied like this this is how it will look again let's see it in Photoshop quickly this is the sequence exported from that video so I select my video and these are all fine yes I want to animate it I want to assign the texture in my albedo slot we click import and um, I would say yes here I need to wait a couple of seconds uh, and then it will say it's done. I'll just click no because I already have it. And then it will show up on the texture, on the material that you apply on the object here. And then when you press play, it looks like this. So it, does, it doesn't look like that right away. Uh, actually, I added the same texture also in emissive here. And that is really a big difference because it gives that effect of like a real TV brightness, you see. And here you can control the strength. And here in extra you can you have some extra settings to control the speed, the frames of the animation like this. You can tweak them, frames per second, number of frames. You can play with these columns and lines. And that's mainly it. That's how I created that effect there on my TV. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something from this. And I hope this helps you create your own animations with uh, with Eddie's plugin within Marmoset and if you have any questions just write in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.